This is Mallard High School, the school of a young man named Gary Duxon. This high school student disappeared on Thursday, so I, Dave McQuack, am here to investigate and find anything I can on him. Gary Duxon is roughly 5'8", short brown hair, blue eyes, good looking ma uh, young man. He disappeared very abruptly on Thursday after school. No traces of him have been found yet. However, he left something, something surprising and mysterious. Around 130 yellow rubber ducks. I'm here with Professor Heal, Gary Duxon's homeroom teacher. Heal, I have a few questions about Gary Duxon's disappearance. Disappearance? Yes, the last anyone seen of Gary was last Thursday. When did you last see him? Last Thursday, but... Did he happen to say anything remarkable that day? Not exactly, but... Did he happen to mention anything about the ducks he left behind? I mean, he gave me one, but... Hey, sir, so, um, hey, uh, you mind answering a couple questions for me? Uh, it's, yeah. it's, it's just about the ducks, that's all. Here, I can, I can stand a little further back if you're comfortable with that. Um, mm -hmm. so, what's your name? Uh, my name is, uh, uh, Dave. Dave, hey, uh, it's nice, it's nice to meet you, Dave. Um, so, what you, what you got in that hand, or in your hand there? What is that? Why? You want it? No, no, I, I'm just wondering it? what it is, that's all. I'm just a little oh. curious. Oh, it's, uh, just... You don't, you don't get it. It's more than just a duck to me. It's my life. This is my life. This is my prize. My prize possession. Your your prize possession, really? Uh, who'd you get it from? Huh? I said, who'd you get it from? Uh, d d uh, no, uh, uh, John. John, John, yeah. gotcha. Yeah, I, I heard he was kind of spreading those things around. You, you've met him? You've met yeah, John? Yeah, it, a while ago. Yeah, you know he's been missing, right? Do you uh, do you know anything that uh, like happened to him? Do you know why he's gone? You know, do we have to film this? Do we have to film this right now? Yeah, yeah. Do I kind of, yeah, kind of. Is that recording? Yeah. I am here with John Duxon, brother of Gary Duxon. John, uh, I have a few questions for you. Are you comfortable with answering those? Okay. Um, first and foremost, what was your guys' like relationship as his older brother? Um, as a family, we didn't really see him a lot during the day, me and me especially, because well, I was the closest to him. As, as children, we were always like doing stuff together. But in more recent years, he's been more just kind of distant. I don't see him for long periods of day. Um, did he ever tell you anything about the ducks? Ducks. He never specifically stated any details about the dogs, any like properties of them. However, I do know that he had an obsession with them. Because the rare times I go look into his room, there's ducks in there. The door is closed, and sometimes a duck would fall off and just immediately pick it back up. Not as some sort of like, sacredness with them, but I'm not sure exactly. On the day of his disappearance, did he say anything strange to you? Matter of fact, on that one day, he wasn't there. No breakfast, no leaving for school in the morning with us. The family literally knocked at his door and didn't come out. Uh, so we just left without him. We were like, fine, if he's not going to come, just leave him here. No response from the room and nothing. Uh, went to school, normal day, didn't see him at all. Then I went home and... 
his doors wide open. Just sitting there, which is something I've never seen. Call for his name, get no response, no nothing. Obviously, I walked in there. The room was like empty. It looks like someone like taking stuff, with, like a bunch of things from it. And there was this box on his bed. A little note on it that said, Do not let the ducks in the box. And next to that note, ironically, there's one duck. No ducks in the room, there was one duck. I have that on me right now, if you want to see it. It's a singular duck. Interesting. I wonder what's special about them. I'll have my crew look into them. Well, you can go back to class now if you want. I'm here with Karen Henderson, a uh, best friend, supposedly, of Gary Duxon, uh, and apparently the last person to have seen him that day. Uh, Karen, what happened on that day? Did he say anything special to you or anything? Yeah, I don't think we could trust that in any way. Oh, this is terrifying. He brought fake ducks. He must be punished. But they're just ducks. Oh Where's God. Harvey? I, I, I don't know. He's not here. Uh, Mary? I, I, I think they got her too. Bill? Same. Oh, shoot. Uh, look at the man. I, I don't want to do this anymore. This is getting way too dangerous. I, I need to care about the pay. Are you sure? Yeah, I, I don't want to do this. Okay. Good luck. to the church of the great duck. Uh, Dave McQuack. Hey, so you are him? Him? The prophecy speaks of a man who would bring the end of an age. There's some truths and untruths and a little bit of truth and not very much truth. I don't follow. Uh, well, unfortunate. Bring him to Moby! Uh, give me that! Moby, what say thee? <laughs> <laughs> 